This is Nicholas Bell with Eye on Cinema here to review A Stranger Among Us, which is being released on Blu-ray courtesy of Kino Lorber on December 10th. Uh, Stranger Among Us is one of those infamous uh, early 90s films that, that competed at the 1992 Cannes Film Festival alongside Basic Instinct, uh, where the negative reception caused it to be a recut. It's infamous because it stars Melanie Griffith uh, in a Razzie-nominated performance as a New York City cop who goes undercover in the Hasidic uh, community to find a killer and ends up falling in love. Uh, the Jamie Sheridan stars as her partner slash lover. His role was actually the one that was cut down after its initial screening. Um, and Eric Thal stars as Ariel in his screen debut uh, as the uh, Hasidic Jew who's betrothed to a French woman he's never met uh, as, as Melanie Griffith's love interest. Uh, you know, Griffith is plucky and kind of fun, uh, but ultimately miscast, uh, just as she was in the same year in Shining Through as uh, an undercover Nazi hunter in World War II. Um, but the script by Robert J. Avrek is decidedly trying to juxtapose this modern uh, free woman uh, with the this, you know, for lack of a better word, cloistered community uh, in what seems to be an... Uh, aping the uh, formula from Witness, uh, where Harrison Ford, of course, was the odd duck uh, in the Amish community in 1985. Uh, in this, she fares a lot worse than, say, Vanessa Paradis in Fading Gigolo or Rachel Weisz or McAdams in Disobedience. Um, this, sadly, is probably Sidney Lumet's uh, worst film, uh, even if you compare it to his other 90s offerings like Guilty as Sin or um, his remake of John Cassavetti's Gloria. Uh, and it, it is hard to believe that somebody that would have done Serpico would do a film, would make a film that seems as tone deaf about the Hasidic Jewish community as it does about police officers. Um, you know, considering his early work in 12 Angry Men, Network, Dog Day Afternoon, uh, Serpico, and even The Wiz, which I, I, I believe is a quite a defensible film. Uh, other than that, uh, it, it tends to paint its Jewish community as very conservative uh, simpletons. Uh, uh, Mia Serra, for instance, has nothing to do, and I think Eric Thal is, if nice to look at, a bit doltish. Uh, James Gandolfini makes his screen debut as well uh, as a heavy uh, that's trying to take advantage of this murder in the community. And um, John Pankow is a sleazy cop that is partnered with Griffith to solve the crime. Uh, overall, I give this film 2 out of 5 stars, and Kino Lorber's release 3 out of 5. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.